Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I have a little shopping haul from Silk and Salt. Silk and Salt reached out to me about doing a video and they are the sponsors of this video so special thanks to them and I will have a link to their website and all these items in my description box as well as a discount code that you can use on your purchase. And I have something I've been wanting to do for a while. I have been on a quest <laughs> to find some comfortable shaping underwear. Now I'm not talking about full on shapewear that's going to, you know, make you drop a size so you can fit in a dress for a wedding or something like that. I'm talking about just everyday underwear, that, but that's going to give you a little added tummy smoothing and things like that just to look better every day in your clothes. So I've got a few different ones to try and you can help me pick the winner. So with all that being said, let's get on with the try on. This first look I'm showing you, this is what I would call one of those elevated loungewear sets by Silk and Salt. This is called the Staycation Set and it's three pieces. You get the sleeveless shell, the pull-on pants, and this long line cardigan. This fabric is so nice. It is made of viscose and polyamide. It is so silky and smooth. It is a lighter weight knit so it's not heavy and hot it's not going to overheat you and it is just silky smooth to the touch this comes in multiple colors i chose the gray in addition to being just elevated loungewear i think this would be a perfect travel outfit i mean you look very airport chic in this outfit you would be so comfy even on a super long flight because like i said it does feel like pajamas so this set is on sale right now for 88 dollars, and that is 88 dollars for all three pieces so let's see what else we got okay next up from silk and salt they're calling this the Lux lounge set and i'm wearing it in the color taupe this little set is Lux is the right word for sure and it is on sale it is also 88 dollars comes in a ton more colors again this is just a really elevated lounge look but i think this looks more like an outfit you know you could definitely lounge in it but this looks like a very chic outfit that you could wear anywhere and like the first set this is made out of viscose polyester and polyamide so it's silky soft i have to say that these items are excellent quality and it just has it the fabric has a nice drape to it so again this is just a really pretty high quality and very expensive looking chic set from silk and salt Silk and Salt not only has the elevated loungewear look, they have sweaters, dresses, accessories, blouses, pants, skirts, so a little bit of everything. And all the items that I'm showing today are machine washable in cold water and hang or lay flat to dry. Up next, I'm wearing the distressed button down shirt in black. This blouse is $74 and let me say, I absolutely love it. I am super picky about button down shirts, but this one is made out of polyester and viscose. It's very drapey. It has almost a gauzy feel to the fabric. The collar is not stiff and rigid. I mean, it lays down nicely and my buttons are not gapping in the front. I'm wearing this in a size medium. And it has this really neat raw edge detailing on the bottoms of the sleeves and around the bottom of the shirt. I'm wearing it with the vegan leather midi skirt. This skirt is $65 and I'm wearing it in gray in the color medium. The fit is great, except I was not able to zip it all the way. That's why you're gonna see it look weird in the back. But that's a me problem, not the skirt problem. And I am extra bloated right now, which is another reason why it's a good day for me to test out the shaping underwear that we're gonna do in just a minute. But this skirt, $65, very nice quality. It also comes in black and brown. This would be really pretty with a sweater and some boots for this time of year. Tall walking slit in the back so it's not restrictive or anything. 
but it's that midi length so it's nice and modest. I thought this gray set would be the perfect thing to try these different shaping panties with because it's a light color and this is sort of a clingy knit so you're going to be able <laughs> to see everything. So I'm putting myself out there for you. I'm taking one for the team. So you're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, we can decide together which one of these works best. So first, I am wearing the Undetectable Panty or Brief by Spanx. It's got the seamless design. You can see there's no elastic around the top. This is seamless. And the thing that I liked about these was is around the bottom of the legs, you can see here, there's no elastic to dig in. With briefs, often I get that extra lump at the bottom where the elastic is. And that's like the last thing we want with shapewear. We don't want to create more lumps. So here they are. And I think that they are working pretty well. But from what I can tell, just looking in the mirror, I think these are doing a good job. And the most important thing is they are comfortable. Now these are coming up right under my belly button and they're taming everything in that area that's my problem area, which is the pooch right below my waist, right below my belly button. And I feel like these are doing a good job of doing that. And they aren't leaving that additional line at the leg since they just have the lace at the bottom you're not getting that other line no panty line in the back nothing weird if you see some a weird line it may be a tag because i haven't taken tags off this stuff so so far i'm really liking the spanx oh and the spanx undetectable are 24 dollars a pair and i'm wearing them in a size medium Okay, the next candidate I have for a shaping or smoothing brief is the Honey Love Crossover Brief. Honey Love is kind of like Spanx in that it's its own company and they make their own items. So it's the Honey Love brand. These claim to uh, bonded compression, targets your tummy, wedgie proof brief, invisible underclothing. So let's put these to the test and see how they work. Okay, these I'm not that impressed with. I almost feel like I don't have the right size. Um, I'm wearing these in a size medium. These come up much higher on me. They come up above my belly button, but I don't feel that much compression in the stomach. I don't feel like they are flattening my tummy out as much as the Spanx did. Um, I feel like I've got room in there, almost as if I need a size smaller, but I'm pretty certain that if I went a size smaller, they would be cutting into my legs really bad and cutting into my waist. So I just don't know. Maybe these are just not a good fit for me. The other problem I'm having with these, even though it says invisible underclothing, well, as you can see, these are creating panty lines under my butt cheeks, and they're doing that thing where they squeeze into the tops of my legs, creating that additional roll right there. And that is what we're trying to get away from. We don't want any additional rolls or creases. And these are giving me those really bad. So the Honey Love, I'm sorry, but you're a fail for me. And these are more expensive than the Spanx. The Spanx were 24 These are $34 for one pair. So they are a fail. So let's see what's next. Okay, the next candidate we're trying out. This is a pair that I bought on a whim one day when I was in Kohl's. And this is by a brand that I'd never heard before. And it is Naomi and Nicole. And what I'm trying is the Soft and Smooth Waistline Brief. It claims to target tummy and hips, soft and smooth under any fashion, with wonderful edge, no lines, no ride. Here's what it looks like, just a regular brief. Now the back of it feels just like regular underwear material. The front panel, 
the entire front is a more rigid, you know, kind of fabric. And it does have this nice, just laser cut edge on it. So there's no seam whatsoever around that, nothing at all. And this is interesting. The legs are laser cut as well. So there's no elastic band inside there. And then they've got these lines of grippy stuff to hold it down. Okay, first off, I like these already better than the Honey Love. First of all, they fit me better. Second of all, they're doing more for my tummy, I feel like. The tummy area is compressive, and I feel like it's doing a decent job of f smoothing that out. Now, the back of these, there, there's zero support back there. It is just, you know, like very thin underwear materials. Now the legs, while they are seamless in that laser cut design, just where they hit on me, it is causing that line kind of to cut in and I'm getting somewhat of that panty line in the back. I don't think it's any worse than the Honey Loves. So I would rank these better than the Honey Love, but not as good as the Spanx. And these are regular price, $30, but of course, you know, at Kohl's, everything's always on sale. I think I paid like 20, 18 or 20 for these. So for the price, that's not bad. And y'all let me know, do you have that problem with these kind of shaping briefs where they cut into the sides of your legs and cause that extra roll? Or is it just me? Because every pair, besides those Spanx, that I have ever put on in my life, have done that so let me know if you have that problem too okay this next one is the firm shaping brief by maiden form this is the least expensive of the bunch at twenty dollars and fifty cents may vary a little bit depending on where you buy it and i'll have all these linked down in the description box by the way so if you see any that you want to try they're linked there for you this one let's see it says no pinch shaping waistband and i can see what they're talking about this has got a super thick waistband it goes from here all the way down to there that's all waistband of this more rigid shaping material and unlike some of the others uh, it goes all the way around the brief. The legs, now this part feels very thin, just like regular underwear material. And it does have elastic at the legs. However, it's not a big thick thing of elastic. It, it's rather thin, but there's nothing grippy on there to hold it in place. So don't know how well it's gonna stay down. But that is this one, so let's try it out. Okay, my thoughts on this one. This is the first one I've put on that the waistband wants to roll down. I feel like the tummy control is pretty good in these for the price, especially if you could find these cheaper. I think they would be a good option. Now I am still getting that effect down around my upper thigh there. I feel like this is digging in. Not as bad as some of the others, but I do feel like it's digging in and it's creating somewhat of a panty line and back. These are just kind of an okay. If you want something that's a little bit cheaper, these might be a good option. I do like the fact that they've got the control stuff all the way around rather than just in the front. And they don't feel bad other than the roll down factor. These were rolling down on me pretty bad. So let's see what I've got next. Okay, so this is the last one. I decided to try a boy short just to get away from that whole issue of the elastic cutting into my leg. So I'm trying the Spanx Everyday Shaping Panties Boy Shorts. And whereas the other panties are just smoothing, these say shaping. So they're supposed to be a step up from that. And they say they're supposed to be seamless, ultra comfortable fit, shaping waistband, no show support, and invisible underclothing thanks to minimal stitching. So let's see how these work. Okay, these everyday boy shorts from Spanx, they are super easy to get on. They're very stretchy. I can't tell if they're doing any more for my tummy than the undetectables that I put on first. But the good thing about these, no panty lines whatsoever because they are the boy shorts. They come all the way down no panty lines, everything is nice and smooth. The only place where I'm seeing a little bit of a ridge 
is right there at the tops of my thighs where the boy's short ends. But the, this is a knit clingy fabric. If I were wearing these under jeans or any other kind of regular pants, you wouldn't be able to see that at all. So there's no cutting in to my legs at, there at the hip. There's no weird panty lines. These are very comfortable. This is definitely something that I could wear every day. These boy shorts are less expensive than the undetectable panties. These are $22 and they come in a wide variety of colors as do all the Spanx undies. That is my shaping underwear <laughs> comparison for the day. Let me know in the comments if you could tell a difference with any of these based on what I've seen. The Spanx is the clear winner. I'm wearing mediums in both. And I'll have all my stats down in the description box. I always have it down there. It's down toward the bottom. And all these shapewear items, as well as the items that I've shown you today from Silk and Salt, will all be linked in the description down below. Remember, use my code and you will get 20% discount on your order from Silk and Salt. And until I see you guys in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.